Beyond the Beat project started about three years ago and it started with 20,000 sheets of paper in a bag being put on the doorstep of Bishop Stortford Museum and another museum and they were all police records from 1840 through to 1919. For the play uh, we've been working with Thorngrove Primary School in Bishop Stortford. Over the last six weeks they've been, been extremely busy um, they've been looking at the documents. They've been talking to the students who created the graphic novels based on all of the police documents. As a project, it's really inspired the children. They've taken on, on board all the ideas. We're working in groups and we're performing plays that we've come up with. We're performing them, no professionals, and then we go and help out with the professional play. So it's, it's amazing. It's not just boosted my history skills, it's boosted um, like my vocabulary and how I think. And through drama I've learned a bit more like how families was and all of like that. And um, how they had to struggle knowing that their, their, their father or son might not come back. And it's when I wrote my poem about um, how it felt in the trenches, it did touch me quite a bit. And um, when I wrote it, like I said, um, I had I added a lot of vocabulary and I feel very proud of it in my work. And I'm about to make a great arrest to protect our very way of life. I wish you'd get on with it. Emily Poppins, you're <laughs> under arrest. <laughs> Twisted Events presents deliberately wanted them to feel that they were creating their own stories. So the three of us were all actor-writers, didn't come in with any preconceived ideas of what our scripts were, go were going to be about. The children have been astonishing in A, the creativity they've shown in the stories they have created. They've worked so hard in learning their lines and really getting inside of the characters. There's not one child on the stage, and there's 30 of them in three different plays, who isn't just really inside the character and really trying and really concentrating and really working as a team. When we're performing it, we're, we're doing it all on our own, so we have to be confident and we have to speak, speak clearly. And, um, and, and I just think it's, it's really good that we've been given the opportunity to be able to go on stage and um, perform to people what it was like during the war, ourselves, written with plays written by ourselves. I think it's really helped everyone to put their, their themselves in the shoes of people in the war. And I've learned so much more than I did before about World War One, about what it was like and about how hard it was because we haven't just been sitting around with paper and pencil, we've been doing things and it's we've been branching out into history and art and um, um, writing and it's and it's been really and it's been really good. What is this all about? Life will never be the same again. So the children have really uh, learned so much about it in all aspects of the curriculum. It's helped their understanding of history. It's helped inspire their literacy, where they've written some fantastic work about what it was like to be in the trenches, and also what it was like to be in Bishop Stortford during the war. It's helped their artwork too. They've used this project to inspire some beautiful uh, paintings and they found it quite um, enhancing to have them, quite helpful to have them up actually on display in the road centre with a final product for their work. As an, in addition to the performance, um, the theatre company have written a play about Arthur Waterman who was a conscientious objector. He was a local man and this story appears in the police records and in many of the other documents that our volunteers have researched. All of the children will be having a small part in this play as well. So it's been fantastic for the children to work together with professional actors and to actually take part in, in a professional performance. We may do other projects like this but obviously this one was part and parcel of the centenary of the First World War, so it was very significant this year and it has been a project of great success. <laughs>